All right, I'm here ready. we go. We got def module monkey dot lexer do. It's a little doc Writing... coming up here. What the heck? You don't even know about this? Stop. No, he's writing comments. That's cheating. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We like to just be tossed into code like closure where we have to manhandle ourselves out of it. All right. All right. So specifying the types uh, is optional, but not only does it help document the code like this comment, uh, it helps make the LSP better and improves accuracy of static analysis tools like Dialyze. Fake or types, though. Fake, fake types. types. Because you right. can put whatever you want there. Okay. So they do... Uh, Whoa, I don't know what just happened there. Okay, that got That's weird. The, oh, oh, it's yeah. It's the yeah. tree sitter context. It's it a little scuffed for it. L little scuffed. All right, def, def guard P. Def guard P. Wait, can we go back up though? What is this string.t? Like, is that just magic? Is that like actually for types? Does that do anything besides what, like what, like on line, you know, like 30 something, 37 or so? Like uh, this one? Like these? Yeah, 40, yeah. These bottom three? Is that just a type hint, Shirai? I think it is a type hint. Okay. It's just a type hint. Yeah. It's like a, if that's <clears throat> type hints. Type okay. Hints. So it doesn't do anything besides hint. This should be a string. Okay. That's all I was wondering. String is the, the string type. Yeah. Okay. We, okay. May, we may be misunderstanding this. Okay. So we got a guard P, which is a white string, which is if C exists in any of these, right? So if C is any of these, you forgot a registered nurse. Okay. Mm hmm. You can't be forgetting True. registered nurses, you know? It's big time. That's actually how I remember it's slash R slash N and not the other way around as registered nurse, much like your mm. JVM thing. Yeah, not a nurse register. No one, that doesn't make any sense. All <laughs> right, so we got is is letter. If C is somewhere between A to Z or A to Z or underscore, okay, or is digit. Nice. All right. Sure. Example. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, my goodness. Is this a markdown just right in the middle? It's got a little markdown right in the middle of this. Wow. Okay. Someone's really thinking highly of themselves. Okay, shy. Yeah, okay, shy. <laughs> what is this? Enterprise elixir? All right. So we have a spec, an it string token. Type hint, basically. When is binary input do lex this? Okay. I don't know what spec means. Do you know what spec means? Spec, that's, that's the type hint. Oh, it's a type hint. Oh. Yeah, he's telling you what's, what is going to happen. Oh, it's the specification for the function. Yeah. Okay, this is Enterprise Elixir. And then it's got the same, it's got the same shenanigans from Erlang again, where look, like we're, or well, no, we just defined in it. What happens if is binary isn't true on like 11? Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, what about, what if it's not true? Then what happens? Yeah, it, there is no other not true. It must, it's a match error. Okay. There you go. Okay, so I, I really got to know. What the heck is this? Do you know what that is? <laughs> I don't know what we argument... We were making fun of closure earlier for parentheses, but somebody's just putting less than, less than, greater than, greater than. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell does that even mean? Uh, binary string. Empty binary. Oh, this is an empty binary string. Oh, okay. this is just an empty string. It's just an end of file. Okay, sure. Oh, so he's there. writing his cases. Okay, so Got this it. is the, this is this is case. So P must stand for something important. Def P must be like you can pattern, overload this. Maybe? Yeah, pattern. Okay, I like yeah. it. Okay, so we have uh, ignore. So we have C, which is an my guess is a, a little eight biter, right? Or eight bit, I guess, a little yeah. eight bit thing. So it's like UTF eight. Got it. Rest of binary. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep. Tokens. Uh, when C is white space do this so just keep doing it when it's white yep. space okay 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 got it input tokens tokenize input yep makes sense and then we're prepending to a list is that what we're doing right here this is the last this is the list mm -hmm. is that how you read that why do you prepend yeah. it that's usually faster in these langs and then at the end you'd reverse it like because they're linked list usually oh interesting okay so here we go. So we have these. We have this little tokenized thing going on here. So if it's a oh, binary Prime, string, go back to the top at the yeah. when it had the. Um, yep. Look at that online. Maybe seventy nine. There you go. Nice. Okay. So that's your case because it's a linked list. So no it's faster. Okay. 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 Yep. No copies. Nothing. You just do the whole way and then you reverse it at the end. It's pretty classic style. Okay. Oh, this you do is the cool. same thing in OCaml. 
So here's the tokenizer, and here's the different... Go okay, so this is like pattern matching function building. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. So you can do your yep. little doubly up here and be like equal, not equal. Oh, this is actually really convenient. Yep. Interesting. So there must be some sort of loop somewhere that says to like keep lexing. Yeah, that's, they're all calling lex at the end. Are they? Where? Well, this one's tokenized. This isn't lex. So lex okay. is going to call tokenize, and then lex will call itself again. Okay. Okay. Then we do a little read, identify, read number. Okay. I see this. So read, identify. What about, did we do the look aheads? I, what about like, like greater than or equal to, or no? Do we have that or no? Yeah. 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 Those were the, up here pattern matched. Oh, nice. Right here. Okay. Yeah. I just missed them. Sweet. Okay. Very okay. cool. They just, they, uh, apparently they're missing greater than or less than and equal to. They're missing yep. those two cases, but you got that right here. Sorry, Shy. Yep. <sighs> Rookie code. Well, that's good. Not I got it. Enterprise. That's cool. I like that. Okay, so here's the read identifier, which we're going to do a IO, IO data to binary accumulator, some sort of pipe thingy, tokenized word rest. I don't, I don't know what that means. So that's going to say, okay, you just smush together a bunch of bytes, turn that into a string for me, and throw that into tokenized word. Like it's going to pipe that to tokenize the word. I don't know where that where that function is. And then it's going to return also the rest of the things to do. Like everything looks like it's returning the thing on the left and then the of the tuple kind of thing or the I think it's called a record maybe in uh, in Elixir maybe okay, not I don't know okay. and then it's also the rest of the things left to parse so it's like returning you can think of it as like a tuple though I think okay and then you got let's okay so this one we got a little guard clause right so this would be a uh, yep. a guard clause right here so you can read identifier only when the character is this and so we're going to keep yep. on reading identifier over and over again and we're accumulating that into like into a list. Yep. Okay, why doesn't he do the little little reversey thing here? Maybe tokenized word does. I don't know. Okay. Tokenized word does this thing. So here's all the different ones for tokenized <clears throat> word. So it either turns it into a pri it turns it into a named one or a uh, identifier. Okay. Yep. All right. Nice. So, so where is the looping? Oh, I must have missed the loop. So it must there's be no loop. This. They're just going to keep calling Lex on itself until yes. its base case is when there's nothing left. This would be That's the base the case. Matching. Okay, so this is the base yep. case. This is the white space move ahead case. And yep. this is the tokenize that one item, right? Call tokenize, mm -hmm. get the one token out, and then recall Lex with this new list. Right. And so like that Lex will automatically call ignoring white space. Yeah. Right. Sorry. Like, cause it's just calling Lex and that case is higher up on the list yep. of matches. That's where Very I was cool. looking for the, yeah, that's the loop I was looking yep. for. I didn't see this loop. Okay. Yep. There it is. Oh, that makes sense. Huh? Yeah. I like it. I prefer personally, I think I like, um, <clears throat> writing the pattern matching like inside of the function. Why? Because I just think like you end up, writing like some of the same thing i don't i don't have a strong opinion on it right now it's mostly the languages that i do it like that's what i use right so like in ocaml we have pattern matching you can do all of the pattern mm. matching that you see in this file right but then there's only like one entry point so it's kind of nice right that like you can see what lex looks like and you just read it instead of like what if there's another def p lex like later in this file i don't know is that an option yeah you know what I'm so it's like and of course, you know, I, I like static types that are actually part of the language. So, okay, so that, okay, that's, yeah, they have but to be they together. Have to be together. Okay, okay, that's good, shy. Okay, but I, I, I can, um, I can buy your argument because as this function gets sufficiently longer, you lose the context of the other ones that are potentially available. Maybe there's like a cool, like I don't have an LSP apparently running, but it'd be cool to be able to just be like, what are the different definitions? If there's like a definition hover, I yeah. don't know. That'd be neat because then I get that a little yep. bit more. Okay. Like I, I some of it's cool because like I think it looks cool with the tokenized cases below. Like I yeah. think that that's nice. You know what I mean? Like yeah, this I is get very why that looks cool. Yeah. Um, I just like the other version of matching, but but that's um that also is colored by my you know personal like experience that I haven't written any elixir seriously. Yeah, I have not written any functional anything seriously so <laughs> it all looks like bullshit to me all right anyways this is beautiful thank you very much for the elixir walkthrough you can match on case instead of function heads yes yep yeah, yeah i saw you say that shy so there is is there a nix implementation i believe there is 
which is also crazy. We could look at Gleam if someone did one. I don't know if anyone did one, but that also runs on uh, the same the same thing. See, look, Freckle Science knows, okay? She's True. out here like, Got yeah, him. it is bullshit. Okay, and she's a scientist. I'm not. I'm just a computer scientist, which is a scientist that does nothing in the real world. Yeah. Or science. Right. In fact, They're just Haskell developers. Yeah, that's the only real scientist among us. But real talk, computer science is the only science branch that allows you to make no hypotheses and test them. You just run purely by what you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's beautiful for whoever wrote it. No, you don't have to. Don't, don't feel bad. You can dunk on Ryan. All right, there we go. 